This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk about what to do if you broke your hand. So generally when we mean you broke your hand, it's not the fingers, um, it's the metacarpals. So you have five metacarpals, one for each finger. And the question is what to do if you broke it. So it depends on which metacarpal and where you broke it. A lot of people will break their fifth metacarpal called a boxer's fracture, and what happens is when you punch something, um, if you hit with these first two knuckles, the force tends to transmit through the hand and the wrist and the arm. But if you hit with these two knuckles, the last two, they tend to move a little bit and that puts a lot of force on them and they'll end up breaking. So a lot of metacarpal fractures end up being the fifth metacarpal fracture, also called a boxer's fracture. Um, but for most of the metacarpals, uh, it just depends on how bad you broke it. So there's something called angulation. When you break it, it'll kind of do one of these. Um, in the pinky finger and in the ring finger, you can get away with more angulation, especially in the neck, or meaning towards the end of the hand, than more of the shaft. So if it doesn't angulate too bad, you usually can get away with casting it for about four weeks and then starting motion. Um, if it is angulated, sometimes what somebody can do is they can put it back in place. Where you bend the finger like this and you push down. You really should have a medical professional do that. Um, so they can get imaging and also so they can numb it up before you do it. Um, I wouldn't just do it to yourself at home. Um, but if you can get uh, the fracture with an acceptable um, angulation, then usually you can treat it without surgery. Uh, a problem is if it's shortened too much, so instead of angulated, it shortens a lot. That can, cause pro uh, that can cause a problem. We generally don't like it to shorten too much. Or you get a fracture that just is really just puts into a bunch of it, just a bunch of different pieces, or you break multiple metacarpals. Um, those generally need surgery. Or like let's say it's open and you can see the bone. Those are things that generally need surgery, um, which I hope you're not watching if you, that's what, this video, if that's what you have. Um, so if uh, another problem that can happen is if the bone breaks and twists a little bit and you get angulation and your finger starts rotating or bending funny, that's usually a good indication for surgery as well. So basically you can get away without surgery as long as it's not shortened, it's not rotated, and it's not bent too much. And depending on how much it can bend depends on which metacarpal. Uh, the, 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 the fifth metacarpal near your pinky finger can bend a lot more than the other metacarpals. Um, the thumb is a little bit different. A lot of people will get fractures at the base of their thumb metacarpal. Those are usually unstable and do need surgery. Um, those are called a Bennett fracture or a Rolando fracture. Um, but again, it all depends on kind of how you break it. Um, but the general rule is if it's not too deformed, generally you can get away with casting it. Um, and then with surgery, whether you cast it or you do surgery, generally the goal is to get you four weeks of immobilization then to get you moving. Um, metacarpals don't get as stiff as fingers, but the goal is to get your hand function back and a really important part of that is motion. Um, so if you, uh, if you do break it, you don't want to mobilize it for too long. Um, so I hope I was able to question, answer your questions about what to do if you broke your hand. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. But note that I can't give you uh, medical advice about your specific condition. Um, if, you, if you like this video, we put out new content every week, so please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.